exploring, understanding, and celebrating the natural world of the San Francisco Bay Area. Bay Nature on the Air. Whenever I walk into a redwood grove, I feel in every sense of the word that I'm going into a cathedral. There's something incredibly peaceful and nurturing about a grove of redwood trees. There used to be about two million acres of primeval redwood forest. Not now, less than 5% of that remain, but there are opportunities to go visit remnant patches of them. There are, of course, redwoods scattered throughout the entire Bay Area. And the thing that determines exactly where they're found is the presence of coastal fog. Wherever you have coastal fog, redwood trees can survive those real desiccating times of late summer and early fall. In some ways, redwood trees seem immortal. They have high levels of tannic acid, which prevents insect infestation, and they have very thick layers of bark. And when a fire sweeps through the forest, these thick layers of bark insulate the tree, and so essentially prevent the fires from killing it. Even though it's called Sequoia sempervirens, sempervirens means evergreen, you can figure out the age of little twigs. They're not really evergreen. They may live for seven to 11 years before they drop off. Theirs, one year, two years, three years, four years, and five years. So what finally does a redwood tree in? The trees are two or 300 feet high and the wind is blowing and they fall over. That individual dies, but up pops clonal groups from the root systems. Those start growing up, 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 and eventually one or two will dominate and may live for another 2,000 years. We have no way of knowing how old the root systems of these redwood trees are. They could be 10, 20, 30,000 years old. Primeval giant specimens range throughout the Bay Area. Don't miss them. <laughs>